Hey guys. We're back. We're back. Did you miss us? Did you <laughs> notice we we're gone at all? <laughs> so the last two weeks we had our North Bali Durian retreat. First and second week, which is why we haven't been uploading anything on YouTube. We just chose to be really, really present with our friends at the retreat. And because we don't have any staff that does these videos, we all do everything ourselves on this one iPad mini. So hence the short break yeah we didn't have enough time after the retreat day to make a video so but we promise that we'll be uploading more regularly now we although that depends because tomorrow we fly to a very remote location very remote which we cannot share we yet. don't know anybody who's ever been there we don't know anybody who's gone there we don't know anybody who's gone there and come back <laughs> we don't know if there's durian there or any fruit whatsoever, but there's no information about hotels, no scooter rentals, no nothing. Anyway, we're gonna keep the location secret. But it's wild. Out. It's way wild. And what else? Well, we're gonna make like one or two more videos about Borneo. Then we're gonna go. Because we have some epic footage yeah, from Borneo, and I know so you much guys love Borneo. our Borneo videos. And then we're gonna go straight into Bali. Yeah, and you if, if you miss the retreat, wait till you see the videos, then you really, really gonna, you know, regret missing it. Because I had the most amazing time ever. I thought it was gonna be all about Durin, but it turns out that almost half the people that came to the retreat have never even tasted Durin. So in fact, it was all about connection, right. making real connections and yeah. really being courageously true to yourself and telling your story from the heart and we made some truly truly deep connections which i hope will last for our entire life yeah probably it was beautiful it, it, it was such an overwhelmingly beautiful experience and it just went so smoothly it was beautiful i, I can't wait to show you the footage yeah anyway we've seen so many people in the last month that we're actually gonna <laughs> retreat ourselves and get to the wild again because yeah <sighs> right right now it's <laughs> time for us to retreat <clears throat> so it's gonna be just the two of us for a couple of months i think uh and we're planning to do some of the wildest most uh remote places left on our southeast asia map which gets us really excited because um even if there will be no durian uh, we will definitely find fruits that you've never seen before so yeah. that's one can hope quite exciting right yeah and um after we upload this video right now we fly out tonight we'll leave bali well we're leaving bali instantly instantaneously right after we've just finished our retreat yeah by the way if you're still thinking of coming to bali this year do it the durian is gonna be here probably until beginning of april if you go to the right locations, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it might last here another month, I guess. And it's good. As always. We had really good durian. Amazing week. mangosteen and red dragon fruits. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna... Sh hang on. <gasps> Look at the size of these. Like, <laughs> these are alive, right? Mm -hmm. These will be traveling on the plane with us today. Actually, not one plane. Three planes. We, we're gonna <laughs> get on three planes in the next. It was either hours. three planes or five days on a ship. So we decided for the yeah. planes after all. Okay. Anyway, see you later. See you later. Market. Well, actually, it's midday, so not early morning. I am super excited because today we're shopping for my most favorite fruit in the world. And I can say that without a doubt because it was my most favorite fruit last year and my most favorite fruit this year. When I first came to Borneo and I first tasted the bite, I couldn't believe that nobody talks about it. I mean, people talk about durian, people talk about mangoes, but nobody talks about the bite. So what is the bite? 
Dubai. The scientific Latin name is Canarium. Odontophilum. Odontophilum, which means nothing to me. But <laughs> Dubai is known as the jungle olive. It's small, it's blue with a yellow tip. You're going to see a lot of them in a moment, so be patient. And the fact whether you eat it raw is kind of debatable because when it's harvested raw, when it falls off the tree or the branches are cut, it's stone hard. You need to soak it in lukewarm water for about 20 to 50 minutes to make it edible. And by lukewarm water, I mean the kind of water that would be too cold to get into a bathtub. And the taste, once you've soaked it, we're going to show you the whole procedure in a bit. The, the taste is amazing. It can, there's over a hundred varieties of Dubai, or perhaps an infinite number of varieties of Dubai. So every stand you'll see here at this market will have a different tasting Dubai. The tastes range from eucalyptus avocado to a pickled olive to my favorites, which are like roe cheese, and some of them like parmesan, some of them are like goat cheese. It's incredibly fatty at about 20 to 30 percent fat. It's super stimulating and heavy and gives you the feeling of cooked food, which for a raw food is, is both good or bad because finally you're satiated, like really, really <laughs> heavy on it. Like you don't want anything else but the buy. <laughs> and on the downside, it can be a little bit heavy. Right now, our second time uh, in Cebu, we are monomilling on the buy every night and it's a love and hate relationship. We love eating it, we can't help eating it every night and then sometimes we eat so much of it, we're too happy. But I'm talking way too much because I'm just too excited. Let's and head out. Right now we're going to head out and I'm going to show you the Dubai sellers. Who's excited? The Dubai. First of all, we need some hot water. And what we are actually going to do here, we're going to mix hot water from the kettle with room temperature water. Take three. <laughs> I'm trying to make this video PG rated, by the way, which is why you have to take so many takes. Anyway, with the Dubai, you have to have warm water and not boiling water, but the kind of temperature that would be too cold to take a bath in, but still relatively warm, you know, like a puddle in the jungle. So, we're going to start off with pouring mineral water, because the tap water here is chlorinated, and this is the best mineral water we've found so far in Malaysia. Not too much. That's it? Yeah, that's it. You okay. don't need that much warm water. Bam. Kettle is on with the rest of the water, and we move on to the bathroom where we have the device and what i'm doing right now is giving them a bit of a rinse i i usually didn't rinse them but i once we had a, a local lady in a restaurant make our dubai for us and she gave it a very good rinse and you could see like stuff coming out yeah you could see it and you could see a lot of dirt coming off <laughs> right so nowadays we uh, we tend to rinse our Dubai a little bit and if you can hear the sound of the Dubai, it's rock hard, right? There's no doubt about it. Well, what you doing there? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. No, it's not a... Not a good attempt. Usually Chippy makes this. You can tell that Chippy is the, you know, the, the main cook around here. I'm just the assistant. But this is my friend, so I insisted on making this. Okay, so now we have the Dubai well soaked. Oh, hello. Okay, so now we have the Dubai well soaked, clean, 
And I can tell you, I can show you the different varieties of the Dubai. We have the ones with the small tips, we have big round ones with the big tips. You can see the difference. This one is going to be more acidic, more eucalyptus, and this one is going to be more cheesy. We have all sorts of different shapes and sizes, right? Yeah. I think we have about 10 varieties in there? At least 10, right? You can see how contrasting they are, right? I mean, I'm super stuck. So now, we're gonna put it, where do we put it? We usually put it here, right? <laughs> we usually put it here because this container is unfortunately leaking. And, okay, we have hot water already. So we got, not to burn it, we're gonna give it so you pour in cold water now? Cold water, yeah. Room also mineral water, because the dabai is going to soak up the water, right? To okay. soften it. Okay. And... Oh, look out. Uh, look out. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So you pour about 75% of cold water. Of cold water? Not cold, but room temperature. And then... A swish of... Some hot water. Yeah. More cold water. Not too much hot water, honey. Yeah, I don't want to boil them, okay. right? Oh. Now you have to feel okay. how hot it is. Okay, that's about what you want. Yeah, yeah. that's perfect. It's warm, but if I was to take a bath, it would not be warm You can easily put your yeah. hand in it. It's like yeah. not super warm. Yeah, just a tad of warm water. Okay. And now we make sure that all the the, the bay <laughs> is soaking in. Maybe a tad more water. Okay. And now this is the worst part. You have to wait for about 20 minutes, which is for a raw vegan fruitarian, waiting on your food is ridiculous. Cause I usually, when I want it, I take it. I take it. <laughs> I have to wait. Okay. So. So now you anxiously wait. Twenty minutes. Tick tack, tick tack, tick tack. Come on! <laughs> when is it ready? Twenty minutes later, we are ready to test the waters. Okay. Okay. We have a survivor. See, I can tell it's ready because I can make dents into it and. That's a beauty. You can eat the skin. The most delicious part is the flesh, and now the taste test. Mmm. Oh wow. Good. Goat cheese. Goat cheese. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. That's great. Creamy. Full of flavor. Salty, fatty, with a tanginess of goat cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Let's try another one for you. Okay. Okay. Ooh, yellow. Ooh, yellow. Look at that. Okay. The yellow ones mostly taste more cheesy, right? Good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is nothing better in this world than Dubai, you have to trust me. Mm. Mm. That one's a little rotten. I like them because they're a bit nutty then. Okay, hang on. See, they're not all softies, but I, oh, okay, I feel a soft one. Okay, that's a tiny cute Dubai. Oh, pinkish. Pinkish. Mm. Mmm, marijuana. Marijuana? It's like weed. Mm -hmm. With time. Marijuana mm -hmm. time. Yeah. And look at the seeds. And just like all the Dubai's are different, all the seeds are different, right? So you can tell how different the tastes are. Okay, last one. And then I think we'll have to dig in. Let me see. I think we may need to put some more warm water. They're maturing yeah, too right. slowly. Okay, so that's how you make the buy. Better than durian. 
I swear, way better than durian. I think durian's better. No. 